Hello everyone, we will now add a simple camera shake effect to this shot that we have running here in Sequencer. So first and foremost, I am within my cinematics folder and I created a folder called cam underscore shakes. I will now right click anywhere in that folder and look for a blueprint class and I will type here on the search bar camera shake. I will bring in the default camera shake base. I will call it cam shake. We'll save this and I will open it up. And this is what we get. Essentially, we get a um, couple of values that we can play around with, pretty self-explanatory. With a root shake pattern, I would leave the Perlin noise one because it's very basic and it's a very good one. We have location, amplitude, and frequency. And we also have the amplitude and frequency of any axis. Same with rotation and same with um, FOBs. Then we have the timing, the duration, how long do we want it to be, and the blending for when it comes in and out of the, of the actual track. Now, how do we apply this? We have to go to our camera, find our camera here, and within our camera, we will find a track that is called Camera Shake. We'll now include our Camera Shake, and this should be pretty much uh, active right now, although it is not. Because the values are super, super low with one and one, obviously it's not doing anything. Obviously it's a multiplier. So multiplying something by one gives you the same result. I'm going to exaggerate this so you can see that we are getting um, an effect down here. As you can see, the background is now giving us a huge effect. And we can play around with these values. It should be maybe, uh, maybe the amplitude could be, let's say a three, but the frequency we want a little bit higher uh, let's say seven for some sort of more uh, better, like uh, better camera effect. And now the good and the great thing we can do with this is that we can not only use one, but we can use more than one camera shake. And we could use this one and call this macro. And then we could create a copy by control D and then we can call this one micro. So we can now open this one up. And in this one, we can have a higher frequency, let's see, let's say 30, but the values would be way lower, let's say 1.2. And we can stack these two together to get a better effect on our, um, on our shakes. So now we have two shakes working at the same time together. You can see how obviously this, the frequency might be too high, but we can get layers and layers of values here and have different effects. Uh, to have more a more like live effect, right? Something that looks less computerized and less um, perfect and mathematic, and have more um, more noise, quite literally. 